Mail day. The SK40. And a DF64V. We'll review that later and that one. And this is a second DF64V in gray that I'm gonna give away to a patron. So Kyle, where are we? What is this space? Where are you opening boxes? This is not your studio. What is this big white warehouse? Those would all be wonderful questions to ask. And to explain that, we need to go back six months. You see, six months ago, I posted this video. I launched a roastery, a coffee roastery. On December 9th, I also launched a Kickstarter to pursue a deep passion. A terrifying endeavor, to be quite honest, to put yourself out on the internet and hope that people buy into the vision and the dream. The pursuit to share tasty coffees that I love with all of you. To give you some context of just how terrified we were in launching this Kickstarter, 10 minutes before the Kickstarter went live, we dropped our goal by 50%. Now we needed the funds for the original goal, but in our minds, we'd rather get something than nothing, and that's kind of how Kickstarter works. So we dropped it by 50%, and not only was it hit within 15 minutes because of all of you, it was doubled, and we hit our original goal in 40 minutes, and the project itself was 650% funded. That was because of you. And honestly, words cannot express. And all of that gave birth to this. This space is September HQ. Welcome. Now, it's pretty empty as you may notice right here. We only have a bunch of tables in here to pack and ship and QC, cup our coffees. We have a bunch of kettles and grinders and a bunch of green inventory here and some storage. But really, the reason I'm making this video today is to bring you along in the journey. Rarely do you get to witness the process of a business like September uh, Coffee Roasters, or you often see the finished product, the beautiful roastery that is finished and in all of its glory. And we want to take a slightly different approach and bring you along on the journey because quite honestly, this is only possible because of all of you. Now we got this unit three months ago and when we got it, it did not look like it even does now. The walls were yellow, the floors were green. And while spending 14 hours today fulfilling Kickstarter, we actually spent all of our spare time I'm painting these walls with family and friends, but I know what you're wondering, Kyle, where's the roaster? And that would be a fantastic question. You see, since last year, we've been renting and sharing a space with a local roastery here in Ottawa named Morning Owl. Now they retrofitted a shipping crate, multiple shipping crates into a roasting space. Really cool, really hip really tight on space. But that means every day we've actually been packing up coffee from our roastery here, shipping it with our vehicle over to the roaster, roasting it there, then bringing it back here, QC cupping, color tracking, all of those things, making adjustments if we need to, sometimes going back to the roastery if we need to, pack it, and then we ship it as soon as possible. It's been interesting, it's been a lot, but thankfully that's gonna change really soon. Now our roaster's actually on the way, and when it gets here, it's actually gonna go right where I'm standing. And we purchased a Loring Smart Roaster. Now, why Loring versus Probat or Diedrich or any of the other brands? We're gonna talk about that in a future video. I think it's interesting. I think it's a topic that I would love to share. If you have any questions on Loring Roasters or why we purchased what we did, drop them down below and I'll try to answer them down there or in a future video. The thing with Loring's is they make beautiful coffee, but they're incredibly expensive. So all that to say, we're all in with September. We must be, we have no other option. Our names are on the roaster, on this lease. We must make it work and we will, we truly believe that what we're creating with September is something special. I wanna highlight your local roaster, the roaster near you, because what we're doing is no different than what many have already done. What we're doing here is, is special to us, but that doesn't mean every other local roaster out there hasn't worked as hard, if not harder, than we are today. Shout out a local roaster that you love down in the comments below. I'll be reading every single one of those comments. So to answer a couple questions I've been getting a lot. Number one, did you quit YouTube? Nope, it just took a lot of time to fulfill Kickstarter and build out this business. 
we're back. We're going to have constant videos all the time. And sometimes they'll look like this, but also they'll be in the studio. Maybe we'll put the studio in here. Number two, is September a full roastery? Yeah, 100%. Now, it depends on what you mean full. We're obviously a micro roastery. We're a smaller team, but we are shipping coffee around the globe and to cafes around the globe. We're incredibly excited to serve as much coffee as we can to so many people. That's part of our vision is to share coffees we love. And that is with as many people as possible. Number three, do you white label your coffee? So in other words, do I have a roaster roast coffee for me? And then we put our label on it. And the answer is no. As you can see, I am roasting currently all of the coffee. I'm profiling all the coffee for September. That may change as we scale, but I will always oversee the production and the profiles at September. And number four, why start a roastery? And this is hard to answer real quick, but as a coffee creator, I've always had a deep conviction to ensure the priority was focusing on the producer and the farmer. And that's really hard to do within the algorithm and what people like to watch. Now, Lance Hedrick did a fantastic video last week talking on this exact topic. And I want to give him a shout out for that. Truthfully, that is one thing that we really are passionate about is highlighting farmers and producers doing fantastic work, ensuring they get a livable, if not larger than livable wage, and ensuring people are taken care of in the process of producing tasty coffee. Natasha and I do this as a team. She does most of the stuff for September. I just make the coffee and make it taste yummy. We hand sort every single bag to ensure there's minimal Quakers or defects. And we put a lot of time into every single bag that ships out. But for now, we're establishing the foundation and our values with our customers and ensuring that our product is the highest quality we can. And once we get to that point where we're comfortable and bringing people on, that'll happen. Well, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you want to try September, the link is down below. But if not, please just support a local roaster, somebody who's doing good work. There are so many out there. And if you're not aware of any, then just maybe read down in the comments below. Like this video if you learned anything or enjoyed it. It means more than you know, and it helps share it. Subscribe if you really liked it. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys soon.